So, uh, people where they go NYC, enter motor, they travel somewhere in Zamfara, they stop there, they kidnap them. Eight of them, they will be the kidnappers and they talk to you now. Plus, driver, that is nine. As a matter of fact, there's supposed to be 11 in total. Some of them escape. Now, I mean, they call me eight plus driver, I mean, nine. Now, with a year now, say, as they, they find them, the kidnappers don't contact the family of one of them. And they are asking for four million naira before they will release that one person. Now imagine they ask everybody for four million naira, four times eight is thirty-two million minus the driver. Let me play you the news. Are they come? According to the Guardian, eight NYC members kidnapped on their way to camp. Suspended so bandits had kidnapped eight National Youth Service Corp members along a highway in Zamfara State. However, a police spokesperson in Zamfara, Yazid Abubakar, said he was going to verify the incident. It was gathered that the victims were kidnapped on Saturday while traveling inside from Uyo, Akwaibom State to Sokoto and route to Zamfara State. They were to take part in the mandatory national service when the bandits intercepted their vehicle. According to reports, 11 cops members were kidnapped, but three managed to escape. Aside from the eight cop members, the driver of the bus was also abducted. Also, it is gathered that the family of one of the victims, Betty Udofia, was reached and that the kidnappers are demanding four million naira in ransom. Was it not in May yet? We heard of some NYC people with a dog kidnap. In about say May, June, July, August, four months were hearing of another one. Then are the ones we hear for news, oh, because the game men if it don't happen. Where nobody go here. Are we going to continue like this? Is the part I don't know. What has been done since May till now? Because these are not even the first instances. What has been done to specially nip that issue so that we will not have our youth who they are prepared to gather money, borrow money, send land, they send go school only for them to graduate. I mean, they don't go service. They don't kidnap them. Now, if you don't see videos of these kidnapping bandits before or you don't see pictures of them or maybe you don't you don't meet them you don't see them for highway when you escape or something these guys does not look like people who have seen 10,000 before so my question is when they kidnap people all these plenty millions so that they ask for for ransom who really they collect the money who really is in charge of these people who collect this money? How do they get this money to collect? Is it only by cash? Because this one cheap now, 4, 000, 4 million. You get some cases with the yes, people pay ransom as much as 100 million. And the people they perpetrate the they don't be able to see 10k before. How are those money paid? Now, if this money are paid now, have you asked yourself what does these people use this money for? They used to get more weapons to carry out bigger operations. So we're going to use our hands, sponsor them to carry out bigger operations in the name of paying ransom. But when you blame the family of the person, person said the picky goes could finish for many years just to go and see They don't kidnap him. Even if you don't get money, you go borrow the family and pay before something will call happen to a picky way they manage. Secondly, when we want to do an election, surprisingly, the period of that election, bandits and Boko Haram stop. What is really happening? Who told them to stop? How are, we, how are we able to manage them that period? And after the election, they are back again. What is really happening? And then, this insecurity in the country. When are we going to nip it at the board? Because Niger now, well, another person do cool. We're not going to sign us. I've had more Niger on the news than my country itself. The way Echo has a jump for Nigeria, the way Africa, you know, they jump, all of them want to contribute soldiers, contribute weapons, everything. When will they contribute to help the banditry situations we have in Africa, not just Nigeria? You get many things that they tell us in this country. Will they watch them? We are not taking what we're supposed to take serious, serious. And probably somebody is profiting for it, we not just know. Some people, some people don't say that shit, they go school now. Go and serve your fatherland. Their fatherland has happened to them. 
Meanwhile, the people when call themselves leaders, nobody think he's not because the small security ones are they that they secure us. They don't carry out join themselves as private security or the or mopo where they are assigned to them. So now we now they live alone like this. When are we going to declare a state of emergency on security issues in this country? There are many communities people cannot go to farm anymore. Those who say they go and rise now, not kidnap. So with the yeses on communities that have been taken over by ice swap and Pukwara inside our own country and this this nobody's going to talk about it the senate is never ever going to sit about this house of people will not talk about this they'll just they watch us more they complain they go